You are tuned in to On Air with Chris Shanafel. Good afternoon and welcome to On Air with Chris Shanafel as we continue our 2019 NFL Draft Prospect Interview Series. And uh, we now welcome onto the show one of the best wide receivers, not only in the Ohio Valley Football Conference, but uh, in the entire FCS. He's Alexander Hollins, the wide receiver out of Eastern Illinois University. Alexander, really appreciate you uh, taking some time this afternoon. How's everything going, man? No problem, man. Thanks for having me. Everything's going pretty good right now. Hey, the, the pleasure's all mine. Been really looking forward to chatting with you for a little while now, and uh, here we finally get the opportunity to. Um, Alexander, you a couple of weeks ago, uh, you were down in Fort Worth, Texas, as you participated in the College Gridiron Showcase. Um, I just want to start things off by asking, what was your experience like down there? How do you feel you performed that week? And were you able to meet with any teams? Uh, yeah, um, it was a great experience. You know, it's always good to experience new things, you know, just to better your game and better yourself. Uh, the competition that was, was great, you know, it was an opportunity for me and also everyone that was there to compete and, you know, showcase that sound to the scouts to show, they, show what they could be able to do. And Absolutely. I talked to... Uh, I talked to multiple of teams. I talked to the the Giants, the Jaguars, the Colts, the Chiefs, the Saints, uh, the Bears, and probably like two or three more teams. Nice. I can't make, but I talked to a variety of teams, so and it was good. Yeah, I, I got. I think each and each one of those uh, conversations you had with uh, scouts or, or personnel uh, decision makers, I, I got to think uh, e- each. After each conversation, the the dream feels like it's more and more in reach. And you mentioned competition, obviously playing competition, competition whether we're uh, talking FCS or uh, uh, Division I, uh, uh, FBS, uh, it's certainly uh, not too big for you, and you proved that this past season at Eastern Illinois, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But what was one of the main things, before we focus on your collegiate career, uh, what, one last question about the CGS. What was one of the main things you wanted to prove to scouts that you were capable of doing that week. Was there a was there any questions a part of your game that you wanted to answer on the field that week? Uh, you know, the one thing I wanted to prove was that uh, I can be able to go out and compete against any any team and any DB in this country in the country that plays football. You know, it doesn't matter about me playing football in the um, OVC and they just see me play against these guys. I can compete against anybody they can play, and I want to be able to show scouts that I can do that. Well, Alexander, before you landed at Eastern Illinois, you were actually at the JUCO level, uh, playing at Copiah Lincoln Community College back in your home state of Mississippi. Uh, how did Cole Lynn prepare you for playing at the D1 level at EIU? Uh, you know, coming from a junior college and coming from a JUCO, you know, it's going to be pretty tough. You know, we was a red, I mean, we was a blue-collar team, so, you know, one nothing just really given to us. We worked hard for everything that we had gotten at Cole Lynn. Uh, it prepared me a lot, you know, to be, be to really be mental, mentally tough. I just prepare myself for everything. And uh, like when I was in junior college, it taught me how to read defenses and everything, read corners and safeties and the linebackers and stuff like that. All depends on like what route we was running and things like that. And they helped me out a lot, and so it, did, it developed my game like tremendously a lot. I know Eastern Illinois was your first offer uh, while at Colin, but what other programs were showing interest in you, and how did EIU ultimately win you over? Uh, I had other programs that were interested in me, but they didn't offer me because I had sprained my ankle at the end of my um, – it was like three games before the season ended, I hmm. sprained my ankle. And so the schools that were uh, interested in me, they backed off me real hard, so they didn't just – they just – Pass me on, and so Eastern came. Eastern came by uh, Coach Greg Stevens. He was the offensive coordinator at the time for Eastern, and he recruited me. And Coach Dam recruited me. And, um, Coach Scott was on uh, my safety coach there recently, and he um, he won. He was the one to let the old guy know about me. So, and I came up on my vision and everything here, and then I just felt good for me, like home away from home. So, so I committed and came up here and just made the best out of it. Well, Mississippi and Illinois uh, certainly 
uh, in, in two totally different spots on, on the map, geography-wise. And uh, I, I got to ask you, uh, you know, playing playing the receiver position, um, you know, playing it in some pretty cold weather like you did at Eastern Illinois, at Charleston, uh, Illinois, um, did, did that have any effect on you? Did, did that take time to get used to the, the cold winters that Illinois has here? Oh, yeah, it most definitely did. <laughs> uh, you know, just being from the south, it was always warm. You know, the colder they probably get was in the 50s. So, you know, coming here, the weather getting into the 20s and the 30s, maybe like in the 10s or whatever, and it's snowing oh, yeah. and freezing. And, you know, you got to sometimes might have to practice in it. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was challenging, but, you know, it was just something I just – I got kind of used to it, but it just, I feel like it's something I just had to deal with just because, you know, I wanted to play football. Right, and, you know, now looking looking back, it, it, that, that decision could have helped you in the long run. Who knows where you're going to play at the next level, whether it is you're, you're, whether you do stay here in Chicago and maybe the Bears pick you up or, or you know, you, you stay in a colder uh, city, a, a city that's colder uh, during this time of the year, and, and maybe – uh, you got a little head start on, on trying to get used to this uh, colder weather that we have here in Illinois. Um, now, Alexander, your your first year at Eastern Illinois, you, you started all 11 games. Um, you reeled in a team high 47 catches for nearly uh, 700 yards and seven touchdowns. You're named to the All OVC newcomer team, and uh, that only led to bigger and better things for you this past season. Uh, your last as a college athlete. Um, before we talk about that season that you had uh, just this past year, uh, Alex, uh, what, what did last off season consist of for you? What went into your preparation for your last go around at the college level? Uh, last spring, you know, I was the only thing that was going through my head was me as a me um, personally was just getting better in my route running, making sure um, my hand and eye coordination were good, catching everything that was thrown my way or in my area, and you know, just trying to make the players around me better also, you know, just compete with those guys. Well, I, I think you certainly did that. Uh, the Eastern Illinois Panthers kicked off the season playing at Arkansas. Uh, and Alexander, to say you uh, balled out in that game would be an understatement. You hauled in nine receptions, 127 yards, and three uh, touchdowns. Not one, not two, but three scores. How amped up were you to not only start your season, uh, senior season – knowing it's your last go-around at the college level, but that you were going to be able to play uh, an SEC opponent like Arkansas uh, to, to kick off your senior year. Uh, and and how, how were you able to just beat the Arkansas Razorback uh, defensive backs from start to finish? Uh, you know, I really, I really wasn't too hyped about it, you know. Uh, I just looked at it as just another, um, another team that we got to play against. We got to go out here. And so we can do, you know, it doesn't matter like what level of um, competition that I'm playing against. I know how well I'll perform every game, and I know how well our coaches and our teammates be prepared um, to play against our opponents. So, you know, I mean, me the way I performed that game, it wasn't it wasn't shocking to me at all. So, I knew uh, what I had to exactly what I had to do. Well, definitely a. a, a big way a big splash to start the season and it wasn't your only three touchdown game that you would have uh, either uh, last season um, if you were to recommend one game to an NFL scout to go back and check out Alexander uh, what game would you suggest uh, one game uh, it'll probably be the uh probably be either out of the Indiana State game or the Murray State game. Okay. And, and why why so? Uh, you know, you know, I I've always been looked at as a deep threat, but I think in those games, you know, it's so it's shown like a lot of my um my um my like my my um, short and medium game range, you know, being able to get first down, being like make possession catches and stuff like that. So I was able able to do all things in my game. Besides just being like a deep threat in majority of my other games all, all throughout my whole college career. Again, we're chatting with 2019 NFL Draft prospect, wide receiver out of Eastern Illinois University, Alexander Hollins. And uh, last season, uh, Alexander reeled in 80 receptions for over 1,100 yards and 16 touchdowns. He averaged over 100 yards receiving a game. 
uh, last year. And uh, Alexander, uh, a few more questions for you, and then we'll let you go. For database purposes, uh, your latest bio at the uh, EIU Sports website has you listed at 61170. Um, is that accurate? If not, can you update us on your current height, height and weight? Uh, at the College Drive Showcase, uh, I weighed in at 165.3. Okay. 6'1"? That, that's yeah. about right? Yeah, 6'1". Okay. Okay. Well, hey, Alex, uh, obviously a lot of people don't even make it to this point. Um, and, and, you know, many people, I think, don't really realize that uh, uh, Eastern Illinois, the, the roots are deep uh, in the NFL, whether it's Bears general manager Ryan Pace, uh, Saints head coach Sean Payton, uh, or looking at the player side of things, 49ers quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo or uh, Eagles linebacker and former guest of the show, if I may add, uh, Kamu Grugier Hill. Um, I think there's a great chance that your name will be along that list. Uh, I'm sure it's always been a dream to play professionally, Alexander, but when did it hit you that you had a legit chance at uh, turning this dream into a reality? Uh, probably it was probably like was towards my um, probably like after after my junior season. You know, my coach was my coach was telling me he was like um, he came in and uh, he you like he came in, he helped the team out a lot. He, he made big plays for us, and, and he was just telling me like uh, scouts were on, was asking about me and stuff like that. And he was like, if I if I could do do good or or do have an even better season my senior year, then uh, he was like it wasn't. He wouldn't see. He wouldn't see me not being in the NFL, not having the opportunity to be in the NFL. So he was like, just telling me not to get, just not to get content with myself, not to um, get complacent or whatever. Just keep working hard. Whenever opportunities I get, just make the best of them. So that's after Coach Dameron told me that. That's kind of that's how I knew that I have an opportunity or maybe like a shot to play in the league. Absolutely, and uh, obviously uh, you, you did a lot of work in the receiving end of things throughout your collegiate career. Um, being looked at as a day three prospect, a lot is probably going to be asked at least uh, early on uh, of you uh, on the special uh, special team side of things. Do you have any? Do you have any experience playing special teams, uh, whether it's gunner, return man, anything like that? Yeah, I got experience playing now. Uh, in junior college, I, um, I played gunner. And, uh, return man, you know I did like the hand team and onside kick. Mm-hmm. And when I got here at Houston, I did. I returned to I returned my junior year, and you know I, I was on like onside and hand team as well. But my senior year, I didn't do any um I didn't do any um special teams because because, um, because like I was too valuable to the mm-hmm. team. So you know just to be out there and um uh, you know probably like get hurt. Something like that, but you know that was understandable. But I wanted to get out there on special team, but I, I didn't. So like my senior year, uh, this past season, I was just only like on hands teams and outside kick again. But I got experience at being a uh, returner and being a gunner. Yeah, and you know, obviously, again, a, a big thing at the next level, especially for smaller school guys. And and how about the small school label, Alexander? Like you said, I mean. Um, you, you've been able to show out against uh, uh, big-time competition, whether we're talking SEC opponents or uh, I'm sure you've uh, faced off against uh, some more FBS opponents uh, at the CGS a couple of weeks ago. Um, obviously, that's going to be, you know, when, when looking at scouting reports, for whatever reason, that's going to be on one of the negatives is the lack of competition. Um, I absolutely hate it, uh, but uh, it's it's probably going to be there. For you, is, is that something that you kind of uh, – uh, uh, take take pride in and have in having taken a, a different route to where you've gotten to uh, today, and uh, is that something that's going to give you extra motivation uh, down the road? Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, I take pride in everything that I do. You know, on and off the field, but you know, uh, you know, especially playing against a team like Arkansas. You know, the SEC. You know, those SEC schools be like one of the top programs, and like in the country just period. So, you know, being able to just go out there, you know, and kill it against them, you know, that is also a show like scouts that no matter what competition I play against, I'll be I'll also be, still be able to perform well, which I did, you know, it's so tough just throughout the whole game. And I know earlier you mentioned, you know, you you you're kind of known as uh, being a deep threat, or, or maybe that's your specialty at the receiver position. For those maybe not too familiar with your game, Alexander, how, how would you describe it? Um, again, for the, uh, for those uh, all around the country, kind of hard to, to get 
some Eastern Illinois football games uh, on television or, or streaming them online. Um, for those not familiar with your game, how would you how, how would you sell it? Uh, you know, people, some people that's not familiar with my game, they can watch my they can watch like my junior season at, um, here at Eastern, you know, and they can like and they can also watch my um, film from my senior year, obviously. And it just really for you how like how versatile, how versatile I am. You know, I can be able to run any route on the route tree, from uh, in from any position on the field. You know, whether it's the X, Y, or Z, or the H, outside of fight, it don't really matter. But um, I can be able to run any route on the route tree, and be able to get open and just and make catches, make big plays. You know, for any any NFL team that I hopefully end up on, which they saw me do in college, and just make big plays for my team. Absolutely. It was a, a, a weekly uh, basis, uh, specifically your senior year, man. I mean, um, you know, I, I haven't seen a, a receiver put up numbers like that uh, really uh, at, at Eastern Illinois since Eric Laura back in the Jimmy Garoppolo days. Um, yeah. So, I mean, uh, certainly some great, uh, great company right there. Um, what's what's your schedule been looking like since the season has ended, since your collegiate career uh, there as a Eastern Illinois Panther has ended. We, we've talked uh, a little bit about the College Gridiron Showcase. Are you, are you training anywhere for your pro day? Um, what about an agent? Were you able to set any of that up? Uh, what, what's your schedule look like uh, since the end of the season? Uh, I'll start first with the agent. With the agent, I already had an agent. I have an agent since, like, I saw my agent in December. Okay. Yeah. Nice. In December over, uh, over the break when I was at home. And, you know, after the College Gridiron Showcase, um, we we started training, like, the week after I got back and put to school. And, you know, throughout the few – so I'm finishing up my last semester at Eastern Wright. So throughout the week, I trained with um, Coach Stein. He was our strength conditioning coach since I've been here. You know, he knows, he knows me very well. He knows, like, a lot of stuff. He knows, like, my strength and my weaknesses, you know, whether, whether it's not just on the field or in, or in the weight room. So he knows me best. So I trained with him throughout the week, and my agent has me set up with this guy named Stephen. Uh, I'll be training with him on weekends, uh, Friday and Saturday, in um, Indianapolis at the D1 Center. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, uh, last uh, or two more questions for you, and then we'll let you go, Alexander. I really do appreciate your time. It's been a, a pleasure chatting with you. Uh, uh, when, when we when we talked at training, you know, again, uh, all, all of your – uh, all of what you've done on the football field is on tape uh, for what you've done throughout the, your collegiate career. Um, now scouts and teams are going to look ahead. And, um, th- th- of course, they're still going to uh, uh, touch touch on your tape and, and uh, certainly uh, dive into your tape. Um, but, of course, now the, the big thing for you is going to be pro day. Um, I know a lot of guys uh, from the smaller Illinois schools, uh, the FCS programs and, and even – uh, below that D2 and NAIA schools, uh, many times they'll get an opportunity to, to participate in uh, the Illinois State or the Northwestern uh, Pro Day. Uh, do you have any, any goals for your Pro Day, a- any numbers you'd like to throw out there? I mean, uh, do you have any, any uh, 40 times uh, uh, written, uh, written down somewhere that, that you'd like to hit uh, come Pro Day? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so my 40 40- – a 40 yard dash. Last time I ran a 40 yard dash, even like two and a half years ago. So I ran a 4 4 3 then. So okay. uh, my goal is to my goal is to most definitely get that 4 3. I need to get that 4 3. <laughs> um, we uh, I want to broad jump an 11. The the most high broad jump is like a 10 10 or 10 11, and you know that was without training. Wow. I just did that at a camp, and you know my vertical was like a 38 and a half at the time when I went to this camp. And so I want to try to get in the 40. So. Wow. Well, and, uh, uh, I don't remember my times from like the L cone drill, the five ten five, mm-hmm. but you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty sure that I, I do well in those drills. Well, I, I certainly, you know, I'm no NFL decision maker. I certainly don't want to just uh, uh, pump your head up for no reason. But if you put up those type of numbers, and, and uh, again, the, 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 as people say, tape doesn't lie. What you've been able to do uh, over the years, uh, specifically the last two over at Eastern Illinois. Um, and, and to match those up with those uh, testing numbers, if you're able to run a, a 4-3 or even a low 4-4 four, four, 
40 yard dash, jump a, a 38 to 40 inch vertical and 11 foot broad jump. I mean, that'll be absolutely insane. And I'm sure a team would uh, certainly uh, fall in love with not only your uh, athletic ability, but then maybe that would go and, and have a, a NFL team go back and check out your tape, get more familiar with you and maybe spend a, a fifth, sixth, maybe seventh round draft pick on you. Um, Alexander, one last question for you, then we'll let you go. Uh, let's say we have all 32 NFL general managers. Uh, they're, they're listening to this very interview. Why should they want the wide receiver out of Eastern Illinois University? Alexander Holland's a part of their team. Well, I'd be able to come in right away and affect the team in a positive way, most definitely. Be able to have my team let's get better. I'd be one of those players coming right away and help the team win games, make make big plays for them. Well, Alexander, really do appreciate you taking some time this evening. Uh, congratulations on uh, what was really a, a, a fantastic collegiate career, starting at the JUCO level at Colin and uh, finishing off here uh, at Eastern Illinois University. Um, like I said, I've been able to watch your game since you've arrived there at Eastern Illinois, and uh, it's kind of uh, been a lot of fun to watch it uh, turn into what, what it has turned into, uh, and that's uh, certainly uh, – it, it, one of the top small schoolers in the 2019 NFL draft, not just at your position at wide receiver, but uh, at, at any position. So uh, again, congrats on all of the, all, all of the success um, and really uh, wishing you all the best down the line, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that a lot.